Hi guys! Well, as you know from the previous vlog, I uh, upgraded this to run my LED bulb. I'm going to make a few adjustments because I do want to run um, an earth on this bracket because, uh, you know, live metal, live metal, a bit close for comfort for me. So, what I figured I can do, I don't need an earth on this extension cable because it's only to run that light, which is double insulate. So, I'm just going to take that socket off the end and uh, once I've done that, just trying to make a little bit of room. And then I can put the end of this straight on the lamp holder. In fact, before I do that, we'll take the lamp holder off. Ah, there is a more Sony headphones. So I'm going to need an 8mm spanner and my hexagon key. This is where I could do with um, a third hand. <laughs> I want to hold the camera, so... Eh. Yes. You're not far off. I'm just setting the screen up so I can see. And I'll try not getting a shot. bloody washer in the bottom of it. Oh, I'll tip it out in a minute. Screwdriver. I think I'll put that over here. I did indeed. Let's disconnect these wires. Better take the lamp out first before I can get to the wires. The screws are in the top here. do is pull some extra brown and blue out of that and put that on the end of it so I'm just doing a swap essentially. Ah, I forgot to bring the flathead over. I'm empty. I need the flathead driver. Could do with my um, my insulated one more. I don't know where that one is at the minute. Was over here, but oh, here it is. It's behind the drill. I've already got the hole drilled for the cable. So I haven't got to worry about that bit. All I've got to do is take this socket off. Gonna need a bit more earth, I think. That ain't gonna be long enough. But uh, that shouldn't matter. Yeah. Get bloody wires off. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that earth ain't gonna be long enough. So what I'm going to do. Trying to remember where I put my cutters. Oh well, my little ones here will do. Snip these down. And uh, 
a standing knife somewhere. That one do. Just want to uh, score in there. Like that. Sometimes the insulation is quite tough. A little bit more, I think. There we go. Okay. Right. Let's trim that off. Poke through the hole. Like so. I might put me live in neutral. Back on the lamp holder. Get a bit more earth showing because I haven't got any eyelet crimps for the earth. So, what I'm going to do is using the washer, which I've just remembered is still in the bottom of this bollard, I'm going to um. I'm going to um. Use the washer to clamp the earth down. Okay. Actually, I don't really think I need that much live and neutral. I'm going to shorten those. It's just the earth I wanted a bit longer. But to make the earth longer, I had to lengthen the other two. One, two, it's a bit too much. And give it a haircut. Just give the neutral a haircut as well. Right. I'll make sure I get these round the right way. No. Put me blue in. long enough to reach. So, I'm going to need the nut washer. So I'll get this started. I'll just get this on here and start and I can show you what I'm going to do. I didn't do what I was going to do either, which might actually not be a bad thing to be honest. So basically what I've done, I was going to put this cable through these holes as a bit of, um, you know, strain relief, but uh, I think the edges, they're not sharp, but I don't know whether to do that because it's going to need a bit of strain relief, isn't it? Yeah, but that's the idea with the earth. I'm just going to put the earth on like that, under that washer and clamp it down and Bob's your uncle. Uh, yeah, right. So what I'm going to do is sit you back over here. In fact, what I might do is just rest you on the battery again. Because I still haven't found my tripod. Ooh, tripping over things. Still haven't found my tripod. Right, take this off again then. 
On, off, on, off. We'll get there eventually. enough through and move over here. Alexa! Right. Let's connect the wires again. I can guarantee whenever I'm doing anything like this I'll forget to do at least one thing. Right. It doesn't matter which side I put the wires in. Right, we'll do that. Nope, done that wrong. We'll go through this way first. Then up here. And then I've got my strain relief. Like that. That's the whole idea. Just got to twist these wires back. Right. I might just push that down a smidge. could go that way through, couldn't I? Yeah. But uh, any, anyway, I'm going to need a little bit. I cut them a bit short. Well, it's only because I forgot about the... Um, we're using those holes as a bit of tension relief. Strain relief, rather. I suppose it's the same thing, isn't it? Right. up there. I'll try it this way, see if it's any better. Push those through there. And uh, theoretically, if I can get the earth out of the friggin' way, Live and neutral should now reach destination. Okay, so putting the strain relief on has made things a bit more fiddly, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? Same with me blue, which is neutral. That went in a lot easier. Okay, so now, just pull on those, make sure they're not going to pop off. Double up as my uh, earth clamp. Put the egg mold nut on. Right. 
No, watch. Again, this is where I could do with like three hands. One to hold the lamp holder, one to hold the spanner. I've got to hold the lamp holder straight. Three. Good to go. I'm going to turn these off, put the blob back in. We'll turn it up the other way and I'll give it a whirl. No, I won't because I've got the wrong size fuse in it. I want a 3 amp fuse out of the other plug. You might as well swap the fuses first. Oh, hang on. No, I put a 3 amp fuse in this one, didn't I? As I made this lead up originally. Or has my screen just gone blank? Yep, it's got 3 amp in it. My screen's gone to sleep. Okay, just give me two seconds to turn this up the other way and plug in. There's a fair bit of weight in this. Right. I think I've got a longer lead on it now as well. I'll do that. And turn that on. Just gonna nudge that that way. Right. I'm gonna grab the camera and turn the screen towards me so I can see what I'm doing. Get some lights off. Ooh. Let's grab the remote control and we'll uh, we'll get a bit more of it in picture now. <laughs> it's hard to see this in the dark. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's because I've got the remote upside down, dipstick. I was wondering why it wasn't working. So, I'll go through all the colours. Red. We sort of go into some oranges and eventually a yellow colour. Is that one? Yeah. Next, and the greens. Looking quite nice, isn't it? Blue into purples, and then of course, we've got white. Now we've got the three primary colors flashing red, green, and blue. Then we've just got strobing, it's quite a nice effect. And then we've got where it fades in and out of colors, which is a nice effect as well. We've got the last one which just flashes through all the sequences as well as uh, off on. I think that's the one I like the most. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you know how to make colour changing traffic bollard very easy these days all you need is a lamp holder and a remote controlled LED <laughs> right that is all folks so thanks a lot for watching don't forget to uh, like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!